One day I, I went into a local uh, military surplus store here in town and they needed a manager. And overnight I quit my job and I went to work for this guy. And working there, I saw what I wanted to do for my future. I said, wow, this is really neat. Actually from the, uh, the mid 80s through the mid 90s, I, I work in, in hotel management. It's a neat uh, area to work in. It's, uh, it's got a lot of perks, but um, I just wasn't finding satisfaction in it. It wasn't really what I wanted to do. Well, my name's Ed Hall. I was a, what is known as, and, and still am known as, uh, as a very proud Army brat. That's a term of endearment for, for kids who grew up around the, the, uh, the military. What I got in return was a fantastic upbringing um, that I wouldn't have traded for anything in the world. So there's my pictures as a child over in Germany. I was only like four months old here. <laughs> Uh, Washington DC there. My father, a career officer in the Army, he used to bring things to me, you know, that uh, boys were interested in, patches and tents and things like that, and we played in them, my brother and I as children. My brother uh, served as a Green Beret with the 10th Special Forces Group um, for uh, about five years. I learned from a very early age that um, the men that wear that uniform are, are very special, and um, their, their, their service is selfless in many respects. Part of uh, running this business and opening this shop and running it the way I do uh, leans towards that. A lot of people wouldn't go out of their way to, you know, put together a World War I and, uh, uniform and equipment. When you come in here and you, 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 um, you shop around the store and you see these things, this is not stuff that was made yesterday at some commercial manufacturing place, and this is not a costume. These are things that were used in the field by soldiers. Quonset Hut, it's, it's something that I learned about as a child. Quonset Huts were uh, portable buildings made during World War II. After I opened the shop, people started to take notice who came in here, um, and I had a surprising phone call uh, one day, and he said, I. Uh, I'd like you to uh, send me some samples of these items. We're shooting a, a, a film uh, called We Were Soldiers and uh, really provided up to um, probably about 75-80% of the military uh, uniform bits and pieces in that film. Uh, I stayed in contact with the costume designers and the costume guys and got some uh, work on other films. But you know, it's funny how you, you, you venture off into um, things that are new to you, but you always gravitate back towards your roots. 